Transfer portal is still churning, and we've got the quarterback scene really starting to settle now. Cam Ward, I'm going to start with him because that was the big domino that everyone was waiting on. So since yesterday was playoff Monday, you may have missed Cam Ward, the quarterback from Washington State, declared for the NFL draft. I don't know if he's hired an agent yet, but we're going to assume he's off the board. Uh, Miami was involved there. Ohio State was involved there. Auburn was a sneaky contender there. So number one, we got to pay attention to what they're doing. And number two, it means that one of, like, like I said, one of the biggest dominoes that could have been a college football player uh, may not be playing college football this upcoming year. So then you look at DJ Uyangale, who was at Clemson, then went to Oregon State and played very well last year. He has committed to Florida State. Again, I know a lot of you didn't catch this because it's happening, you know, and being overshadowed by the college football playoff. So you got Brock Glenn down there as the backup, and you got a true freshman coming in, big name, true freshman. And you've got probably a, like a one-year rental type situation here with DJ. So keep an eye on that. And also, you may or may not know, KJ Jefferson from Arkansas committed to whomst? UCF and Gus Malzahn. If you know Malzahn's track record, you know anytime Malzahn gets a new transfer quarterback, it's usually a reason to keep your eyes peeled for Gus Malzahn's program. He's done it before. Nick Marshall played DB at Georgia, and Malzahn took him in and won with him in 2013. So with that in mind, we have the quarterback market starting to thin out. But the problem is there's still a lot of demand. There's just not enough supply. And as we know, basic market forces would dictate that some quarterbacks may take a look at all of that demand and none of that supply. And they may say, I'll be the supply. And Caden Salter has done that. Quarterback at Liberty went 13-1 and this year. Conference champs. He just hopped in the portal. And he's got a couple of years of eligibility left. And this is, I, I think it's a response to a, a precious dwindling supply, and there's a lot of demand still out there. And, hey, that dude played at Liberty, and his head coach, who was at Liberty two years ago, Hugh Freeze, probably still needs a quarterback at Auburn, so let's just keep an eye on that. That's one of those other quarterback dominoes, and who knows? We may see other quarterbacks still enter the portal. Lance Hurd is a name I want you to keep an eye on. That's a five-star offensive tackle, 6'6", 340. He played in 12 games for LSU this year. The problem, if you want to call it a problem, is just got depth there. LSU's got depth there. And he was probably going to be a casualty of that depth. Now, in a former life, that would just be a sign that LSU's recruited and developed well, and he's going to stay there and battle for position, whatever. I'm not casting aspersions. This is 2024 college football. So he's in the portal. And offensive tackles, I mean, if you can walk and chew gum at the same time, there's a huge market for you. So there's going to be a huge market for him. Um, we'll see how that turns out. And Nick Scourton, number one edge player in the portal right now, out of Purdue, led the Big Ten in sacks. This is a very important player. I want to remind you that Florida State, has a young man by the name of Jared Verse. And Jared Verse was a stalwart for Florida State, and you know his name. How many of you watched Jared Verse at Albany? My point is, Purdue, in a little different strata of the football society than Albany, but we have precedent for one of these big defensive names, these edge guys coming up from lesser ranks. In, in Verse's case, he came up from Albany. But you got the number one overall edge player in the portal right now with a visit lined up to A&M. Florida State, Missouri, Oklahoma, all of those visits are scheduled. He's going to go to A&M on the 3rd, and then Florida State on the 4th, and then Missouri on the 5th, and then Oklahoma on the 6th. That's almost as much travel as I've done this week. There are a number of big names. I know the portal's about to close, but there are a number of big names still in this thing. Currently, the 2024 transfer portal rankings. Ole Miss is number one, and then followed by Colorado, Louisville, TCU and Purdue. And now you know the transfer portal. 